What's going on you guys and welcome to another episode of the Pond Chronicles and today it's all about just getting out, enjoying the outdoors, trying to catch a few fish. We might catch some, might not. I don't know but I'm going to throw a couple of different things. I haven't been fishing in literally probably about three or four weeks. Getting ready for Christmas, having COVID, daddy day cars in full swing. But hey, I'm taking full advantage of today. It's Sunday afternoon, the day after Christmas. It's about 55 degrees, supposed to be up to 60 today. I'm just going to get out and relax and have a little fun. So next time you see me, we'll be pond side. I'll plan on maybe hitting two or three spots today. I don't know, just have to see how the day goes. Nothing to it but to do it. Catch y'all in a minute. Today I'm going to start out, I'm going to throw several things. And get my, my rod situated. There we go. But I'm going to start out with, pull this back out here to you, a shrimp. This is a Nico shrimp. Uh, it's an orange color, supposed to be. I've got it rigged up on a Ned rig, 15th ounce. And let's just play, toss it around here a little bit and see if we can get something. I also got a few surprise lures I'm going to try out. I guarantee you guys won't have seen them before. Yeah, this pot, this water is still kind of down. Even though we've had a little bit of rain lately. Um, but it's clear. But usually, used to, literally, the water would come up to about right here. Where you see my all the way around. But it's been draining. They've got a little bit of muskrat issue going on here. You guys can see this one or not, but we're gonna fish it today. We're gonna try them out, guys. You know how much I love a Helgramite. I've got two different new colors that'll be coming out this year the chartreuse and a magma, but I also got it in a leech. So we're gonna try out the chartreuse first. We're almost gonna take and put the this Nico shrimp here in this because this thing remember all Nico stuff you can store together but I would not suggest storing it with other plastics and I'm gonna start out with the chartreuse there we go and I'm just gonna rig it up like I normally would the other ones go through the head bring it up back something I also like using the leeches and, and the Helgramites is the, the the Ned bullets but today I just rigged it through the back and it's gone right down here almost through the appendage right through the middle of the back hopefully this will stand out a little bit more in this clear water we're going to try it here we're going to try the Helgramite out and we're going to try the leech out Already. Oh, guys. Already. I tossed it out there and got the first hit on it. Nothing like some wintertime pond fishing. And we're going to go around here a couple of times and then we're going to head to another pond. Um. It's going to be a long journey to get to there, guys. I'm telling you what. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. There we go. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. We got one. Woo! Are you seeing this, guys? Are you seeing this? 
the chartreuse helker mite the chartreuse helker mite got a nice donkey here let's get him on up here on the, the bank oh man oh man oh man oh man would you look at this guys the first bass of the winter on the chartreuse helger mite i want you to look at this guys look at it look at him look at it the chartreuse pulled it off the chartreuse ladies and gentlemen look at this nice donkey whoo look at him man that makes me happy a cold water bass nailed the chartreuse the chartreuse helger mite There we go. Got him off. Look at this donkey. Look at this donkey. Nice. Good size one. It's probably about two and a half, maybe three pounds. But still, beautiful. Now, I told my daughter I'd name this first one I caught. If I caught one on this today, out here today, we're going to name this one Nace. Oh, Nacy. Go get bigger. Let's get him back in there. Woo! That makes me happy. I hope you guys saw that. The chartreuse Helgren might delivering it today. And guys, let me give you a nice little close-up view. Let me wipe my hands off real quick. Woo! Eternal Angler's Bait Tails, guys, right there. Bam! Got one donkey on the chartreuse Helgren might. Let's go after another one. All right, guys, we are at the third and final location for the day. I decided to go ahead and just call it at the donkey hole in the pond beside it. So I wanted to hit as many places as possible and just get out and enjoy the outdoors a little bit. Many of you have recognized this spot. This is at the golf course. This is the actual very first spot where the very first fishing happened for Pond Predator Nation. Right here, guys. So let's see if hopefully we can get something here. I'm hoping we can. I'm gonna hit several spots. I'm gonna walk this pond several times. And chartreuse is showing up pretty good here too. There he, ah, guys, I had one. You were doop, doop, doop. This lady kind of skipped it across there. At least that's what I'm gonna say about it. There we go. There's the first one. Here at this spot on the chartreuse. The chartreuse wintertime golf course bass, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing?
I mean, look at that. Cold water bass. Beautiful fish. Healthy. I hammered it. Again, this is another spot that I don't normally come to in the winter time. Just cause with a, how slow as it is. Let's get this bad boy back in the water. Thank you, little Mr. Fish. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna name this one Jody. Jody, there you go, buddy. Get in there. Back in he went. Guys, and all honestly, honesty, I never really throw chartreuse baits never really do but you know I'm a sucker for Helgramites and this is one of the new colors being released um, the first of the year thereabouts so I figure why not try it out and so far we've tried it at three different spots Don Quixote we connected with a we got several hits from small panfish we were able to connect with a nice, nice one. The second or third cast of this. Uh, the second spot, the pond right beside the donkey hole, we went and got a few nibbles on it, but I decided to go in and head closer to the house too. This, this spot is literally really close to my house, less than five minutes, give or take a little bit. Let's see if we can catch another one. Another one on the hell night. So perfect. Oh, there we go. Got another one. Pull him out. Pull him out. Pull him out. Boom. He inhaled it. I usually always at least one sitting over there. Winter time donkey. Here we go. Let's pop back out. Bam. We'll call this one Avocabro. That one's for you, Avocabro. You know who you are. Back in he goes. Shall we go for another one, guys? So that's two in less than 10 minutes here. I, you guys know I don't discriminate. Should I try to cast over there one more time? I think I should. Another one. <laughs> Into the cattails. Bam. Beautiful, another little small little donkey. But look at the colors on this one, guys. The colors are amazing. Absolutely amazing. They love that little area right there, guys. Another little guy. Get him back in there. Another good donkey. Guys, here's another little tip too. When you're fishing in a pond or something like this, and you catch one, release it in another area. For that way, if you've got other fish in that area, you don't scare them off. Got a golf ball or two in the waterfall. Cross it. These are actually little apple trees, guys. Oh, I'm 
doing guys is I'm just letting it, I'm raising it and letting it fall. I'll jerk it a little bit. That chartreuse really stands out here too. Operator error. That one cast it behind me. I don't know how that happened. There we go. Oh, wow. I don't know if that was a fish or a, a bass or what. I just started, I might have just spooked him. Bam! He got one! He came and got it! Bam! That's another one! That was another one! Another one that was hungry. This might be the biggest one of the day from here. Let's see if we can get him. Let's get him hooked up. Bam! Look at that, guys. He was hungry. I mean, look at the, these fish are beautiful, guys. Good dark color, you can see the patterns on it. Beautiful. Like that, bam, it produces the donkeys. Let him loose. Right there, guys, this bait is taking a beating today. But we're doing it, we're getting it done. Getting it done. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today. Today was just all about getting out for the first time in a while, try to catch a few fish, hit a few spots, enjoy this nice warm weather the day after Christmas. And we did that. Started out the donkey hole, got a few bites. Started out with the shrimp, the Nico shrimp. Got a few tags on it, nothing really committed, so I decided to change it up. Today, the money maker that came through for me today it was right here the nico helgermite in the chartreuse i'd plan on throwing a few other colors today of it i had the magma and that and the leech but guess what guys the chartreuse is what did it for me today the first bite the first donkey we brought in at the donkey hole the few other bites at the other spot but the real game changer the super bowl the bowl game for the day winner was right here at the golf course where it all started with the chartreuse held in mind. It's another fun day. It's another fun day out here, guys, getting today. Catching fish is always just a bonus, but being out here enjoying what God created for us is the number one thing. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have had a fantastic Christmas holiday. And if I don't see you or talk to you between now and the New Year's, an awesome New Year's. Lots of good stuff's happening. Lots of major changes are happening. But it's all going to be fun. And I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. So guys, until next time, give a man a fish and leave for a day. But teach him and he'll never go hungry again. Tight line, everybody. Later.